minutes of Australian motor racing. The Aussie racing cars back on track this weekend at Winton Motor Raceway. Former Bathurst champ Jason Barguana is with us today. Bargs, these cars are perfectly suited to this track. Those who say Winton you can't pass, these cars prove it wrong. Not only that, Aaron, they're small and they're barg sized cars. About the only thing I can see over the dash in. They obviously produce fantastic racing. We've seen them four wide, five wide at some circuits, so look out for the action. And the beauty of this racing, even though it's really close and really tight, very rarely do they make contact. No, they do, and they've got plenty of room out there on the track. They're so small, they can pull off these great little passing manoeuvres, and they produce some fantastic racing. So watch out for the guys coming through. There's some new guys in there as well, so that might be very exciting. It should be a big weekend of racing. The first round of this championship was on the streets of Adelaide at the Clipsville 500, and since then the cars have been to Bathurst. So ahead of this weekend's third round, here's Carly King to preview the action. The first few rounds have all gone to plan for Kyle Clues. The 2010 series champion has been on an early season roll, managing to hold his nerve under fire to take an early lead in the championship race. The 2010 champion is going to put the first mark on the board for 2011. Kyle Clues takes the win. I guess um, you know you kind of just got to slow yourself down a little bit and. Uh... You know, not overshoot corners or anything like that. Just make sure you're in control and keep yourself calm. And, uh, you know, just that, that's what brings the consistency. Tyler Owen sits second in the points, but he's yet to win a race this season. Last year's Rookie of the Year is hoping he can break the drought on his home track. Compared to Bathurst, which we raced at last, this is a more tight, twisting sort of driver track, whereas Bathurst is a more horsepower track, so we just sort of know where to be and where not to be on the track, and a bit of driver ability really comes into this weekend. Peter Carr has also emerged as a driver to watch, with a round winning performance at Bathurst. You know, winning, I think, promotes winning, so it's not as big a deal now for me to win a couple of races, so, um, you know, I can really concentrate on putting together a whole weekend and um, definitely help for the championship. There are a few X factors here this weekend. Bart Morwa is returning to the series in an expanded four-car FW1 team. Morwa has raced extensively overseas and also competed in Aussie racing cars in the formation years of the category. Well, the engines are still the same. They run the 1200cc Yamaha engine, but the body shapes have changed. So we now have the modern Commodores, the Falcons, the Toyota Orient, and they've also got wings, which do work in these cars, they got to create a little bit of downforce so the cars will be a little bit faster. Simon Smith learnt his race craft in carts and is starting to show promise in the miniature tin tops with a top three race result at the last round. Probably the biggest thing is just just the, the, the top speed of these cars because you're doing over 200 kilometres an hour, that's the thing that sort of grabs your attention. 